Uh, thanks for putting this event on, and thanks for inviting me. I'm going to talk about yoga, art, and activism. Om Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat, Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurve Namaha, means the Guru is Brahma, Vishnu, Lord Shiva. I bow to that Guru, the Supreme Being, right before my eyes. I was raised as a uh, Catholic. This is a picture of my first Holy Communion. Catholics were taught that taking the communion wafer was taking the divine inside of you. That was a very powerful concept that has stayed with me a long time. I was educated by Jesuits at Holy Cross College in Massachusetts. While there, I encountered many interesting concepts. One that struck me particularly hard was the oversoul taught by the transcendentalists. This is um, uh, one of the sites of uh, the transcendentalists. Uh, the oversoul was brought uh, by Emerson, and it pretty much said that divine is shot through everything, inanimate objects, living things, all of life. And of course, Swami Vivekananda formally brought yoga uh, to the United States in 1893. These concepts went deep inside of me. Uh, this is a sacred spot of mine. It's on a beach in Massachusetts. One day, I fell on my knees there, just overcome by the intense beauty of everything. And uh, with tears coming out of my eyes, I made a prayer that I wanted to know the truth behind everything. I'm told that when you make such a prayer, a teacher may show up. Just a few weeks later, I got a picture of Sri Brahmananda in my Holy Cross mailbox. When I graduated, I came to San Francisco and ended up in his ashram. While at the ashram, I got involved in some art projects right away. This was a silkscreen poster that we made, a 12-color silkscreen poster registered with lasers. It's a chakra poster. And uh, I was also exhibiting some of my artwork at the time in a San Francisco gallery. Guruji, my teacher, uh, had many interesting speakers at the ashram. One was uh, Greenpeace activists. They encouraged me to get involved with them as a filmmaker. And they even allowed me to come on the ship and do a fire ceremony, Vedic fire ceremony, that I learned at the ashram. Uh, in 1983, I used those prayers uh, for safety for the crew and success for the mission. This was uh, to save uh, whales at an illegal Soviet whale expedition. And given the dangers we faced, the mission was a, a resounding success. And a uh, film that I shot ended up on 60 Minutes and all the news stations at the time. Satsang Magazine did a story of it. Uh, this is a picture of myself with Guruji at Hawaii. I was working for Greenpeace as an undercover filmmaker trying to make sure that they protected uh, humpback whales. My reverence for life uh, and respect for high places literally brought me to a high place. In 1993, while listening to Guruji's chanting of the Yoga Sutras on my Walkman, I came to the summit of Mount McKinley, the highest mountain in America. I unfurled a flag of Guruji there, and what you can't see in this picture are the tears coming out of my eyes from being at this sacred, incredible vista. About three months later, a Guruji left his body. In 2007, I wanted to do something to call attention to the victims of 9-11 and also the victimization of the truth itself. I built this nearly two-ton truth sign and brought it to Burning Man. At Burning Man, I did two kinds of fire ceremonies. I burned 80 pounds of thermite under the uh, truth sign. And uh, I was also doing Agnihotra and Homas, uh, the fire ceremonies that I had learned at the ashram and was also doing on the Greenpeace ship. Greenpeace actually gave me permission to burn fire on the ship. Uh, 
one of the important concepts that Guruji taught us was seva, selfless service, as a way of understanding and coming to deeper truths. And these are some of the beautiful people I've encountered in my work at KPFA and film activism. Uh, I try to uh, incorporate uh, meditation into my artwork. These are two paintings that are on exhibit in Healdsburg right now. Uh, painting is a wonderful vehicle for me for meditating and losing myself, which happens. I'm not sure what I'm going to create. This, this looks a little washed out, but <laughs> it looks better on this computer. <laughs> but uh, I try to um, just to let things uh, come out from inside and uh, lose my mind, lose my uh, thinking mind when I'm doing this. So why California? One thing Guruji would say is, you know, who really makes the choices? Who really is the decider? Who really is the ultimate director that calls these things out? And this is a mystical land. I appreciate it very much. Um, one thing Guruji taught us is that the, the Vedas, the Upanishads, the Yoga Sutras, all of these things are our birthright. They're in us all the time and accessible to all of us all the time. So today is Guruji's birthday. And <laughs> it's kind of a mystical thing for me to be here on this day. One thing he taught us was that life begins with thanksgiving. So I thank you, Gur Guruji. Happy birthday. Thank you all. And thank you for inviting me here. <laughs>